Hello, this is Matt Pullen. Happy Thanksgiving. For those of you who don't like to watch football on Turkey Day, I am giving you this chess video, so enjoy. This is the uh, first in a, well, I plan to have a series of videos on the Stonewall attack for White. I'm building my repertoire around this Stonewall attack for White, and uh, I hope to use this video series to document the progress I make and point out some variations which I think are challenging to what White is trying to do. So what do I mean by the Stonewall attack? Well, instead of trying to tell you, I'll show you. This is an over-the-board game that I played with the Stonewall attack. And uh, this is from the second round of the Evanston Chess Economy Open. And the Stonewall is a queen pawn opening. Starts with pawn to uh, queen four. And now d5 for black. And white plays e3 on the second move, locking in his dark square bishop, but opening up the uh, light square bishop. So let's say black plays knight to f6, as this guy did, and then bishop to d3 developing the bishop uh, to an active square without committing the king's knight. So black plays e6, and then white brings the knight to d2, the purpose being to keep black's knight from jumping into e4. And now black develops the bishop to a pretty modest square, and then white plays c3, a move which needs to be played anyway, sooner or later, and then castles, and now that I know that uh, Black's King is over there, I'll play f4. And this is what I mean by the Stonewall attack. White puts all the uh, center pawns on dark squares. It's very hard to break through. And he wants to put a knight on f3 and e5, you know, putting, taking advantage of the outpost on e5. And he wants to launch a light square attack. So the drawbacks of this, first of all, he is a very bad bishop on c1, which is going to remain inactive for uh, probably most of the game. And he's got this weakness on e4, which uh, black can aim to exploit by dropping a piece in there and protecting that square. But black really doesn't do uh, that in this game. He plays c5 to... Uh, gives some space on the queen side, and white develops the knight, black develops his knight, castles, trades, which I consider this to be a concession for black, because after e takes, I no longer have a backward pawn on e3, and my bishop on c1 now has a little breathing room to uh, develop towards the king side. Plus the uh, e-file is uh, open for me if I want to use it. So he plays bishop d6, attacking the f4 pawn, and I guard it by dropping the knight into e5. So far, I have everything I want out of the opening. I have all my pawns on dark squares, a knight sunk into e5, my uh, bishop and queen pointing at his king. So really, black hasn't done anything to cause me any problems. So queen to e7, a move again that doesn't bother me, and I play rook to f3. I don't want to play the knight to... Uh, f3 from a d2 because then he might take advantage and drop his knight into e4. But rather, rook f3 is a common device in the stone wall to get the rook to uh, attack over on the king side. So a5, not sure what that's for. Possibly to play b6 and bishop a6 later to trade off the light square bishop. Then now I play rook to h3. And in this position, bishop to d7, which doesn't answer the threat of bishop takes h7 check. So knight takes, and now queen h5. And uh, suddenly, black is in very deep trouble because queen takes h7 is threatened, and you can't guard the knight on h7, so the knight has to move, and queen h8 is checkmate. So really... What uh, did Black do wrong in this game, aside from uh, overlooking the threat of uh, bishop takes h7? Well, he didn't challenge what White's strategy was in the opening. So White uh, developed his pieces aggressively without much trouble. 
And for each one uh, of my games that I've won, like this, I've uh, faced a defense from an opponent who I could, totally couldn't figure out. And this is why I'm making a series of videos on this. I want to share the problems that I'm encountering with White playing the Stonewall and how White can surmount some of those problems. So this is a uh, exam has been an example game of the Stonewall attack for White. And in the future, I will show you some more interesting defenses to this Stonewall for Black. Well, talk to you next time.